Welcome to your ANSYS Cloud trial. This video will guide you through the process of creating your user account and installing the ANSYS Cloud application on your PC. Before we get started, there are a few requirements to be aware of. First, ANSYS Cloud is only supported on Windows PCs. Second, in order to run ANSYS Cloud services successfully, some adjustments may have to be made to your network firewall. The recommended firewall settings can be found on the ANSYS Cloud Forum in the article titled Firewall Configuration Information. Lastly, the ANSYS Cloud application requires administrator access on the PC in order to be installed successfully. Please contact your IT administrator for assistance making the necessary changes. We're now ready to get started setting up the ANSYS Cloud trial. All right, you've requested a trial of ANSYS Cloud. What happens next? Well, first, you will receive an invitation to the cloud trial via email. Click Accept Invitation. You will then be prompted to enter your email address. Make sure to use the email address the invitation was sent to. You will receive another email containing a verification code. Enter the verification code and define a password for your user account. Once the password has been set, click the checkbox to acknowledge then click Continue. You will then need to provide some additional information. The phone number you provide will be used for multi-factor authentication every time you log in. All fields must be completed in order to proceed. At this point, your account has been created successfully. Now we can move on to accessing the cloud portal. You will receive a user license agreement. Once you've read this thoroughly, scroll to the bottom and click I agree a confirmation message will be displayed. Click the second link, which directs you to the cloud portal. The ANSYS account portal is not typically used during your trial, so you can ignore that link. Sign into the cloud portal using the credentials you defined at the start of this process. The cloud portal login now requires multi-factor authentication. You'll first need to enter your email address, followed by your password. The multi-factor authentication can be completed with a phone call or with a verification code sent in a text message. This is what you will see once you log in. Let's take a minute to get acquainted with the cloud portal. This page is called the dashboard. It shows several important pieces of information. The first is the resource usage section. Here you can monitor your account balance of elastic units, the amount of allotted storage you are currently using, and the number of jobs you're running. Next, we have the jobs section, which will initially be empty, but should look something like this once you've run some jobs. The status of each job will vary, but any job you run will be shown in this list. Clicking more will take you to the jobs page, which displays the report in greater detail. This section will show the status of the file transfer agent and any file transfers that are currently running. The file path here, beginning with ANSYS, has been truncated, but usually it would show your username and the name of your PC as well. Clicking Download in the Installation section will initiate the download of the cloud application. The installers can also be accessed from the Downloads page, accessible from the list on the left side of the cloud portal. We'll take a look at this next. Now that we've reviewed the dashboard page, we can get started with the cloud app installation. If you are not currently logged into the cloud portal, navigate to cloud.ansys.com and log in. Click Downloads from the list on the left side of the window. Download one of the two installers. The Windows installation is recommended. The zipped installation at the bottom is typically reserved for situations where you do not have sufficient permission in Windows to run the installer as an administrator. Please contact your IT administrator for assistance with either installation. Before we move on, let's take a brief look at the ANSYS Cloud Guide, which you can access from the bottom of the Downloads page. This PDF user's manual can be read online or downloaded. It contains instructions for every area of ANSYS Cloud from getting started to running a job and viewing your results. 
This brings us to the cloud application installation process. Once you've completed the download of the cloud app installer, locate the file named ansyscloud.exe and run it as an administrator. Start the installation. You can specify a new installation directory or stick with the default location. Select the version you'd like to install and click Next. When the installation is complete, click Finish. The cloud installer includes a utility to check that the application has been installed successfully. It's very important that we perform this check before proceeding in order to avoid running into problems later when trying to run a job. Locate the Check Cloud Installation Utility in the Windows Start menu under ANSYS Cloud and run it. A report will be displayed in the Windows command prompt. A summary file called installationreport.html is automatically saved as well. Contact your IT administrator for assistance with any changes to your PC or network. Congratulations! You're now ready to begin using ANSYS Cloud. Visit the ANSYS Cloud Forum located at cloudforum.ansys.com to view how-to guides, tutorial videos, and lots of other useful materials.